Carla J. Rumble at the Bayou here with Lou Savary Savary's Promotions. Amazing card tonight. What do you think of the turnout? Always oh, great. We couldn't have asked for anything more. It was a Thursday night. We packed the house. It was really good. Packed house on a Thursday night. Now, this is Rumble in the Bayou number eight. How many more in the series, Lou? Uh, well, this will be our last one for this year. We're going to come back at uh, January 27th for our next show. So, we're pumped up. It's a great venue. We had It's a... Uh, Kind of a life lesson. We had it. We used to go at the Houston Club. We were really upset when they closed, but now it just turned out to be a blessing in disguise. That's right. Okay, so this is the venue that we're looking at from you know going forward from here yeah, on absolutely. out. It's a great. I mean, June fifty thousand square feet. If we need it. Uh, high ceilings for TV. So we're really pumped up. That's right, and that's one of the things that I noticed that you know you used um, just a, a section of the room this yeah. time, and it was super packed. Um, was there, did you, you know, forecast that ahead of time or did you just make that decision this evening? Well, the third, no, no, we forecast it ahead of time. Usually the Thursday evenings, we uh, a little bit less, than, we did a less one Saturday, we used the whole room, so we're just gonna, uh, every time we get a Saturday event, we'll do it a little bit bigger, uh, double the size if we need it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if a fighter's interested in getting on a Savary's Promotions card, who do they contact, what do they do? Just call us, uh, 713 just go to uh, info at savarispromotions.com. That's perfect. And then talk to us a little more. I know that um, there's free training lessons. I saw something like that with the uh, whole silent auction portion of the, the show. Uh, talk to us about that. I mean, I know that you're, you're training. Are you yeah. doing MMA and boxing? No, no. We, we, do, we do do MMA uh, training at our gym, but the main thing is we uh, do a lot of white collar boxing. We figured out the only business format is to to really make the gym work is to do it uh, white collar and blue collar to uh, boxing, as you say, because it's, you know, it, most of the guys in boxing are from kind of rough areas and mm -hmm. it's hard to disrupt them for the money. So what we do, we get a white collar guys to subsidize yeah. their, their uh, gym dues. That's right. That's amazing. That's a good deal. So if they're interested yeah. in, you know, contacting Savary's Promotions or, you know, you in reference to Bob, to, to training or anything like that, how do they go about doing that? Same so contact we, info? 713-658-0299 uh, uh, and just uh, text or email at info, Savary's at uh, infopromotions.com. That's Lou, perfect. Lou, I got to throw a question out okay, there. Buddy. Carl, I got oh. this question. All right, we know you fought Mike Tyson. Recently, everybody's heard he's, going on, he's going on this rant. About this drug and all, man. What, what do you, what's your take on all that, man? Uh, it's funny you say that because tomorrow morning I'm going to be actually be on national news on CNN tomorrow morning. They come to my gym at 9:30 and tape me. But listen, I mean, it's, you learn as you get older. Uh, life is a marathon, not a sprint. So, you know, I love Mike and I pray for him. Everything, but he's got a lot of issues. So, you know, uh, to go back into 2000, I wouldn't give up anything to be in his in his position. But now. I look at him and I have empathy and sympathy, so he's in a rough position right now. That's right, and that's one of the things that I was going to ask you until Sean Craddock, <laughs> owner of right. Boxing Socialist, just jumped in there. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, that's what I was going to say. You've gotten a lot of support outpouring on, on social media. Yes. What do you think about that? I mean, it's overwhelming. Oh, I, I can't even think of it. People are so nice and, and really nice people. But listen, I, I love Mike. He's a human being, great guy. He just He's got issues in you know, if he, I think if he had the opportunities that I had, my parents were incredible. Just, I think if he had those same uh, role models, he'd be in great shape right now. But. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Well, let's shift gears just a little bit and go back to the card for tonight. Any one particular fighter or any one particular bout stand out for you? Omar Tell is a young guy. He's amazing. 17 years old. He just draws a huge crowd. And then the, the uh, main event, uh, Majid Maktimov, is just an adorable Adorable, adorable guy. Now he's playing Ryan Shields as a world class player, so I, I see big things for him right now. That's right. Amazing. Rumble in the Bayou, number eight, Houston, Texas. This is Carla J. with Lou Savarese. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, Carl. Peace. <laughs>